Courtney Carver once said, you can remove a significant amount of stress from your life simply by reducing the number of items in your closet. And she is absolutely right. In the constant churn of modern life, where consumerism is encouraged at every turn, it is easy to accumulate more than we need or even truly desire. And the clothes in our closet are a good example of this. We have more than we need, we keep buying more, and we rarely take the time to thin out the excess. But when we do, there's an opportunity waiting. An opportunity not just gain back some time and calm in the morning, but also to simplify, refine, and even rediscover ourselves. Have you ever looked into your closet and felt overwhelmed by the sheer number of items, many of which you haven't touched in months or maybe even years? It's a common scenario for many, but it doesn't have to be that way. So to get you started, here are nine types of clothing items you can consider removing from your closet today. Number one, non-fitting clothes. Whether too large, too small, or just not quite right, clothes that don't flatter your current body shape may be doing more harm than good. So let go and make space for pieces that make you feel more confident and more comfortable. Number two, clothes untouched for a year. If you haven't worn it in the past 12 months, chances are you won't miss it. These items only serve to crowd our spaces and our minds. Number three, clothes that are damaged beyond repair. Holding on to clothes with the hope of mending them someday, if they've been awaiting repair for long, it might be time to bid them farewell. Number four, special occasion outfits, that dress or the suit you bought for one specific event and you haven't touched it since. If it's not versatile enough for other occasions, it might be worth passing on. Number five, your memory-laden clothes, apparel from past events or phases of life that you never wear now, but hold on to for sentimental reasons, can be photographed and then donated, allowing the memory to live on without the clutter in your closet. Number six, unwanted gifts. Clothing items gifted to you that just don't align with your personal style or what I have in mind here. Number seven, you can get rid of uncomfortable shoes. If they hurt your feet or you find yourself avoiding them for some reason, it's a clear sign. Comfort should never be compromised to that level. Number eight, the I'll fit into this again garment. Holding on to pre-pregnancy or pre-weight gain clothes with the hope of fitting back into them someday can actually be quite discouraging to you. So if they don't make you feel good about yourself now, they're better off being donated. And number nine, emotionally charged clothing items. Clothes that remind you of past relationships or challenging times. If they bring negative feelings more than positive ones, consider parting ways. As Courtney Carver reminds us, embarking on this decluttering journey can have a bigger impact on our life than we realize. As you free up space in your closet, you'll find that you're also freeing up space in your mind and time in your day, paving the way for a life defined not by possessions, but by experiences and connections. And that is not an overstatement. Bring intentionality into your closet and you'll begin to find it elsewhere.